Now we're ready to put our CGI programming skills and our database programming skills together and create a form that allows us to add input into a database. First thing we're going to do is create a form in HTML. To do that, we're going to call it filminput.html will be the name of our form. So here we're going to write some simple HTML. So if you'll bear with me here, I'm just going to go ahead and type and not do a whole lot of talking right here so I can go a little bit quicker, although I will mention what I'm doing. So we'll create a heading. And of course this has to be a form, so the form action will be to execute a program which we'll create next called addfilms.py. That's our Python CGI program. So now we're just going to create some labels with a hard space. We'll make it 50 characters wide. Hopefully that's long enough. Our next label is year produced. Again, it's a text box. It's name equals year. And then finally, directed by. Another input field. Make sure we have enough room. And actually, let's make this a closed paragraph. That'll give us a little space before we put our submit button in. So here's our submit button. Close the form. Close the body. And close the HTML. And there's our form. So we'll do a file save. Now we're ready to write our CGI program. So to do that, we'll go to the CGI bin directory. And our program is going to be called addfilms.py. So we perform the usual imports, as we've done quite a bit lately here. Set up our database connection. Create a cursor. And if you remember from our CGI work before, we need to get the fields when they're passed, the query string. So we call CGI field storage to get the data into a variable. And then we need to pull that data out. So that's what we're going to do in the next three lines. And then finally, director equals form data, director dot value. Now we're going to create a list of this because it will be easier to insert it into the table. I'll explain how we do that in just a moment. We always have to learn something new in a lesson, so this will be a new way to insert data into a table, especially when it's coming from variables rather than hard data or literal data. So now we're ready. So once we've created this list, now we can write our insert statement. It's going to look a little bit different. Insert into films, values, and then here we put question marks. For each field that we're going to insert, title, year, director. And then we provide our list like that. So this is just another way to insert data when you want to insert a group, or in this case a list, in kind of one chunk. So now we have our data inserted into the database. We're ready to begin working on pulling the data out because we want to see what we put in. We're going to set the row factory to db.row. Execute a select statement. Do a fetch all to get our data into a variable rows. And now we're finished with the database part. We're ready to generate our output. So we have to write a series of system standard out write statements. The first one to create our header. A blank line. Then we start creating our HTML. And notice I leave out the doc type tag and the meta tag from this, primarily just to keep the typing down and keep the clutter to a minimum. So we create HTML body and then we have a heading or a H1 header films. Now we're ready to generate our data because we're going to display the whole table after we've inserted a row. And then it's sys standard out right and then some format strings. And then our row data, row sub zero, row sub one, row sub two. And then write out a break tag to break between rows. And then finally, 
close out all of our tags that are open. And now we have our AdFilms PY CGI program. So let's save that file. Go back to our original Python 27 directory. Start the CGI HTTP server. There we go. Then we can load a web browser. And from that web browser, type localhost 8000 film input.html. There's our data. You'll notice I've been practicing, so it's already in there. 1974, M. Francis for Coppola. Okay. Once we have the data in that we want, we hit the Submit button. These three pieces of data will be sent as query strings to the CGI program. And then what we should see back is a listing of all the films in our film database, which will be Annie Hall, The Godfather, and The Godfather Part Two. And there we go. So that's how it works. We have an input form to enter the data. And we have a CGI program to process the data. And that's all there is to it. So with that, this lesson's finished and we're ready to move on to a more extended example that again demonstrates how to work with dynamic web data and databases using Python.